Hello, my name is Jeanette and today I'm going to show you how I grow, store and use fava bean sprouts to reduce the medication for my husband Don who has Parkinson's disease. Fava bean sprouts are a good source of levodopa, which is the gold standard treatment for the management of Parkinson's symptoms. We have found the sprouts to act in a similar way to levodopa medication. Don feels that five sprouts are equivalent to a half tablet of carbidopa levodopa. We hope that this video will help you to try it out for yourselves. So, this is how we do it. It is not the way, it is a way. Be creative and try different ways if they suit you better. For the sprouting, this is what we use. Faba beans, four 700 gram clean jars, a four litre ice cream container, which we use as a tray for the jars, and a small sieve. I sprout enough for about two weeks at a time. On day one, I weigh approximately 35 grams of dried faba beans into each of the four, four jars. I fill each jar with clean cold water and place them in a dark cupboard. It is important to sprout them away from the light because light can make them bitter. On day two, 24 hours later, I drain the jars and lay them horizontally in the dark cupboard. I use an inverted sieve to drain the jars easily. From then on, Every 24 hours, I fill the jars with clean cold water, leave them to stand and soak for around a minute, then drain them and return them to their horizontal sprouting position in the cupboard. After around two days, I usually see the tiny roots begin to emerge. The end point that we are looking for is when the root is well grown, usually around the length of the bean itself, and the leaves are just starting to emerge and uncurl. For us, this usually takes about six days, but of course that's dependent on your room temperature. When most of the beans have reached the end point, I fill the jars with water as usual, but this time, instead of draining them, I pour the, the sprouts plus the water into a saucepan. I bring the water to the boil, reduce the heat, then simmer for 10 minutes. Apparently, just 10 minutes of boiling makes them easier to eat and more digestible without negatively impacting the nutrition. Then I drain and cool the sprouts. Now we get to storage. We have found it most convenient to freeze them. So I transfer the drained sprouts onto a large tray lined with baking paper to be sorted gently. I keep the beans that have reached the end point and I place the discards in a separate bowl. We freeze the discards to cook in our next soup or stew. Nothing is wasted. I spread the acceptable sprouts in a single layer on the tray and I pop it into the freezer. About three hours later, I transfer the frozen sprouts into airtight freezer containers and keep them frozen to be used as required. I usually find that about 75% of the sprouts are acceptable. Don takes three doses of five sprouts each day. That is a total of 15 sprouts per day. He mixes one dose into his breakfast muesli. He mixes another dose into his vegetable soup for lunch and he takes his last dose with his normal dinner. He finds that by doing this, he can reduce his pharmaceutical medication by about a third. We hope you have found this video helpful. Please post any questions or comments below. Happy thoughts and best wishes from Australia. Goodbye.